right, Dave Kincaid standing by out at Briar and Hale. So, Dave, if you're ready, take it away. Well, thank you very much, Michael B. And this is Dave Kincaid down at Briar and Hale Music Company, where they're celebrating their grand opening today and tomorrow. Stop in right now and enjoy some good music for the next half hour. And uh, if you're driving around your car, stay tuned because we've got some great music coming up from Briar and Hale. Right now, 76 trombone. <laughs> That's music called 76 Trombones, and uh, we're broadcasting live and direct from Briar and Hale Music Company. Stop in right now and enjoy some free coffee and some spud nuts, and uh, listen to some good music. You're listening to the organ of Dale Nelson, manager of the organ and uh, service department. And Dale, it's good to have you on KSCB Radio this afternoon. Thank you. We're having a good time down here at our uh, grand opening. And uh, before uh, we go any further, I'd like to mention that we're going to feature this organ that we're using here today, the new home theater model, at a concert uh, Thursday night. That's uh, the 19th of October at the Holiday Inn at 8 o'clock. We'll be featuring Mr. Frank Stitt, uh, staff organist from Baldwin, on this concert, and we'd like to invite everyone to attend. Of course, we'd like to invite you down for our grand opening now, and uh, of course, all day tomorrow, too. And we will be happy to show you any of the organs in the fine Baldwin line and also, of course, their complete line of pianos. We've got a couple of numbers ready here for you today. Would you like to have us do something for you now? I certainly would. These guys have been practicing all afternoon. First, let me introduce the music that you'll be hearing. <laughs> Jack Shear is on guitar, and he's just clowning around right now. And uh, Prof Makash is on saxophone. He's uh, manager of the band instrument department. So, fellas, if you'll just kind of step up on the old bandstand, and uh, I think a little bit of satin doll ought to be in order. <laughs> Thank you. 
broadcasting live from Briar and Hale's beautiful new remodeled facility here in liberal Kansas and certainly invite you down. We'll be on the air until 5 o'clock this evening. And if you're enjoying this type of program, uh, be sure and come in today or tomorrow and uh, talk to everyone at Briar and Hale and say you're enjoying it. And we can do it again sometime. In fact, I think we will tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. Let's see, now who are we going to interview? This must be Prof. McCosh. Right. And now you are the manager of the instrument department, right? That is correct. We are uh, very proud of our instrument department. We have probably one of the finest lines, I would say, in the southwest or anywhere west of Wichita. We carry all the name brands, Olds, Selmer, LeBlanc, Getson, uh, and Kahn. And uh, we're covering a tremendous territory. We're giving people service. We have a repair department that is one of the more modern, it's up to date, and can be do most complete repair that you'll find anywhere west of Wichita. And we're very proud to be part of this store since I was a teacher for 20 years. Now I'm very, real happy to be here and really enjoy working back in western Kansas. Well, kind of leaving my music in high school and maybe the first part of college, it looks like you have a fine group of people, all specialists in their field, working in this one store, which I think is unique in a town of this size, and uh, the area you serve is tremendous, as you have said. Uh, for people listening way out there in the area somewhere, come into Liberal next chance, or you might just see a Briar and Hale truck pass you on the highway one of these days. Well, they can either see the truck pass them, or if they will just drop us a card, we'll be glad to come see them. If, you know, if the mountain can't go to Mohammedan, Mohammedan will be glad to go to the mountain, especially if it's good digging. <laughs> is that how you got the title of prof? Well, I, how I got the title, <laughs> how I got the title of prof is I've taught for 20 years. I, at one time, I taught here at Liberal, and I've taught in college for 13 years. And uh, the kids couldn't say Mr. McKay, so they could say prof, and that's why, or I got the title. One other thing we would like to talk about, and that's the lessons available. I'm glad you brought this up. We have a class program uh, and class lessons on Monday and Thursday evening where students can come in for a dollar a week and take lessons that um, would cost them two and a half, three dollars anywhere else. It's very, I cannot brag on it too much since I do teach it. <laughs> uh, but it is a very good program and it's um, coordinated or articulated with the local uh, school program and as uh, also recommended by Mr. Ward that the students, especially the fifth and sixth graders who are just starting this year, that they take this program because it will help them out because since the, they are short in the education field this year uh, of teachers, they don't have enough to cover every subject that they want, he would be glad. Well, Prof, thank you for talking to us. We'd invite everybody down. Free coffee and spud nuts served all day today and tomorrow right here at Briar and Hale Music in Liberal, Kansas. And I guess we ought to play some more music. I think here's one of my favorite songs, I Wish You Love. <laughs>
Music by the three managers at Briar and Hill. I wish you love. And a beautiful song. These fellas, it's amazing. They're all three managers of different departments at Briar and Hale Music Company. And they all got together this morning, started working out some songs. And by golly, this is what it came out to be. And if you'd like to hire them, <laughs> you'll have to think twice right now. <laughs> Parties, bar weddings, mitzvahs. and uh, bar mitzvahs. And, uh, and uh, what else? And shoddy should we have uh, Rosh Hashanah and so on and so <laughs> forth. Right now, I'd like to visit a little bit with Jack Shear. He's the manager of the guitar and uh, percussion department, we might say. Jack, how are you? Just fine. Percussion. Is that like drums? <laughs> like drums and cymbals. <laughs> okay. Things you beat on. Yes. Uh, Dave, it's very nice to have you people out here. And uh, we'd like to uh, invite everybody out that would like to come out, and even some of those who wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sure we could show you something that would please you. We've got... Uh, of course, our three main lines of guitars are Fender, Gibson, and Baldwin. And uh, we like to think that we have one of the most complete lines, or complete departments, as far as guitar goes in the entire southwest, or this entire area, that is. I'm very pleased with the guitar selection you do have. I beat on the axe a little bit. Yes, I'm a and, very uh, guitar player, by the way. And, uh, well, thank you very much. And coming from you, that's a compliment. And they do have some beautiful guitars, all the way from classics to the uh, wildest electric guitars you can find. This... Uh, little combo you formed for our broadcast this afternoon only goes to point one thing that you have some of the finest instruments available and listening to the music and the instruction you can have from Brian Hale goes out to point that you can be one of the finest instrumentalists around just by sitting down with one of the instructors here at Brian Hale and picking out one of the fine instruments learning to play it quickly and easily isn't that right Jack? That's right uh, I'd like to go over our teaching program briefly in uh, guitars uh, we give guitar lessons mainly to beginners. I mean, we branch out a little bit on intermediates and uh, advanced, too, but uh, mostly it's beginners, and the lessons run 250 for a half-hour lesson. And I have openings almost any day in my schedule, so I'd be glad to see anybody that wanted to come out and take some lessons. Come on down. Uh, we're going to ask uh, the man on the organ just a little while to demonstrate this beautiful, beautiful, what do you call it, the home theater? Is that the home theater organ by Baldwin? But first, I think you got a little more music. Do you have some more music you're going to play? Well, Dale, uh, this is a beautiful organ. We just got a chance to mention it just a little bit ago. It's the Home Theater by Baldwin. And why don't we have just a little demonstration of what it can do? Uh, fine. Uh, we have uh, on this organ just about all of the features that uh, one could ask for, even including an auto horn and a siren. And, of course, uh, I imagine in the background it has sounded a little bit like we've had a drummer playing because on this organ we do have a complete rhythm and percussion section. Uh, consisting of a tom-tom, a snare drum, brushes, claves, cymbals, and the whole works. Also on this organ, in the percussion part of the organ, we have uh, chimes, xylophone, string harp, celeste harp, and vibra harp, and so on. Uh, when we put all of this together <clears throat> on any of the four presets that we have on the organ, we can have a very big sound, almost like a full band, and uh, I'd like to uh, play a little bit of Birth of the Blues to demonstrate this uh, using uh, much of the rhythm voices, and uh, uh, I think if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear the snare drum, the bass drum, cymbals, and brushes, and so on. So here's the birth of the blues. <laughs> a little bit of everything on it and uh, I mentioned presets these are uh, different combinations of voices that are preset at the factory and uh, if you want a chorus of flutes they are there if you want a chorus of string voices they are there if you want to uh, uh, mix all of these voices together all you have to do is push a button and they all come out I'd like to mention again the concert this coming Thursday night uh, at the Holiday Inn because uh, you'll really be able to see and hear this organ demonstrated at that time 
And while we're talking about playing organ, uh, Tuesday night will be our first meeting. That's the 17th. Will be our first meeting of the adult beginners uh, in a class organ lesson program that we are just starting here at Briar and Hill. And anyone that is interested, we'd like to talk to you about it. We do have uh, uh, several that are going to start this Tuesday night, and if necessary, we'll have more than one uh, group. And uh, we'd like to have about six in each uh, of these classes. And if you've never played before, why, uh, come on down. We'll show you how easy it is on the pointer system and uh, join some of these other people that are just now beginning to uh, learn to play organ. You know, a lot of people, when they uh, hear someone of your caliber play the organ, they say, well, you make it sound so easy. And uh, I think with your, the type of instruction you're going to present, you'll make it sound easy, won't you, and make it look easy. Well, I tell you, really, the organ does uh, most of that. I'm uh, uh, playing with one finger on the right hand most of the time and only three in the left. The organ does the rest of it. I, I sit down at the piano once in a while, and I try playing with two fingers on my right hand and one finger on my left, and that's too much for me. We have, a, I think, oh, first I'd like to remind everyone that's listening that we're broadcasting live and direct from Briar and Hale Music Company in Liberal, Kansas. And I'm your host this afternoon, partially, along with Stu Melchert and the three instrumentalists, instrumentalists, uh, that, uh, instrumentalists, that uh, are managers here at the different departments at Briar and Hale Music Company. We'd like to invite you to stop in this afternoon and... Uh, Look over the fine instruments that they do have, all the fine facilities, newly remodeled at Brian Hale Music Company. It's uh, cat a corner from the Chamber of Commerce office in Liberal and just uh, almost cat a corner from the post office in Liberal. We have an accordion program at Brian Hale, and Leon, why don't we have just a little bit of explanation about this? Okay. Uh, accordion, uh, we believe, is one of the finest instruments, if you, especially if you have a... <laughs> Uh, no bright remarks from the organ department now. <laughs> anyway, if you have children that uh, you would like to see learn an instrument, uh, start them on this accordion program. What we have is uh, we loan you a little accordion, and uh, we teach them how to play it. And uh, the cost of uh, this program would be approximately three dollars and fifty cents a week, and uh, we can almost guarantee where your child can learn to play in a period of, say, eight to ten weeks. That's pretty amazing for some people. I know I play the guitar and I have enough hard enough time playing the guitar. Doing something with pushing buttons on one hand, I have a hard time pushing buttons out the radio station making it come out right, I'll tell you for sure. One interesting thing about an accordion that uh, we find is so easily to teach that you can take, uh, say, a student that's in the third or fourth grade, and then uh, three or four lessons they can be playing tunes that you can recognize, that uh, mom and dad can really see the progress they're making. Um, it's a little more, takes a little more time on a piano or something like that because there's hours of uh, practice and sometimes it gets to be drudgery, but even on the piano in today's uh, modern uh, technique that we have, uh, we get them to playing the piano and simple pieces real soon so, so that the student becomes interested and unless the student can get interested in this instrument we find that it's very difficult for us to try to teach them how to play. An well I think that's that's definitely true you gotta be sold right off the bat on the instrument and then from there on it's a breeze I think that's true. Yes now if you have any uh, children that's in the third or fourth grade uh, each uh, month we're starting new classes for this and um, come on down and if necessary we will uh, give them a little test see if they have any indication of any possibility of learning to play an instrument. If they show any possibility will we put them in this uh, class and uh, we'll go from there and see how we come out. Mighty fine. Thank you, Leon. Don't forget the uh, accordion program that they have at Briar and Hale. We're broadcasting live and direct from the store. Newly remodeled and the grand opening celebration at Briar and Hale will be on the air again tomorrow morning at 1030. I think we have a little more music lined up. Is that right, fellas? Maestro, if you please. It's the talk of the town, and I think it will be.
It's the talk of the town. Fellas, you do a beautiful job. Can you tell me, can you tell me, Maestro, Prof, Prof Makash, come over here. Can you tell me how long you guys have been together? Uh, two hours. <laughs> Better check the clock. <laughs> and approximately so many minutes, and we should have been together more hours than that. <laughs> no, really, it's really, seriously, it sounds beautiful. Fun. And it's fun. Uh, when you get a bunch of musicians together, and this is another reason why you should come down and just try out an instrument. Whether it be a piano, a saxophone, an organ, a guitar, drums, anything, you can sit down years later and still have a good time with the fellas or the girls or a whole group of people and have a ball. I know I've played the guitar for, what, six, seven years and uh, brought up in a music family and I can sing the old songs, you know, Shine on Harvest Moon. Jack, isn't that right? Isn't it a <laughs> yeah, lot of fun? Shine on Harvest Moon. Right, and <laughs> Melancholy yeah. Baby and, uh, of course, uh, Allegheny Moon. <laughs> yes, Allegheny Moon. And Princess Papuli's Papayas, I believe, is right. another goodie there. There's another good song right there. Yes, uh, Dave does a very fine job, seriously. I, I think he's just putting you on. He does a real fine job on folk songs. Very good. And other material, too, of course. He's not limited to that, but he does a very fine job. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, Dale, we haven't talked much about... Uh, I want to talk again to Dale Nelson. He's the manager of the Organ and Service Department. And when you're listening to organ music this afternoon on KSCB Radio, you're listening to Dale Nelson. And, Dale, we haven't talked much about the piano selection. Of course, you're promoting right now organs, but uh, you do have Baldwin and Kimball pianos. Uh, right. Uh, basically, the Baldwin piano line. Uh, Ross Graham is the manager of that department. He's not uh, in the store today. He had to uh, deliver a piano over to Hugoton. And uh, Ross uh, normally can be found in the store or running around town in the little van or maybe 100 miles from here in the little van. Uh, 
Ross has a very fine rental program available. We rent uh, Howard pianos for as little as $10 a month. You can rent one of these pianos for as long as six months, and all of your rent applies on the purchase. Now, this is a real good deal where you can try out uh, a piano that uh, sells for 